Let's start our weekend off with some creativity. I'm Alana Nagy and this is Studio Saturdays. For today's Studio Saturday activity, we'll be creating a paper weaving inspired by artist Sabrina Grishwander. But before we get started, let's take a closer look at the artwork featured from our collection. For today's activity, you will need four strips of paper, a glue stick, and scissors. If you want to make a collage afterwards using your weaving, you will need more pieces of colored paper. Today's featured artist is Sabrina Gershwantner, an American artist born in Washington, D.C. in 1977. She creates art using photography, film, and textiles. For her work like this one titled Quilts, Dresses, Arts, and Crafts, Gershwantner weaves and sews together film strips to make a quilt-like effect. A film strip is a series of transparent images printed in a strip for projection. That's how they used to make movies before digital cameras. The images would be recorded on film strips, then the strips would be copied and sent to different theaters along with separately recorded sound so they could show the movie. Gershwantner's work is a form of textile art. This is art that is created using or based on fabric, yarn, and thread as materials. It also uses techniques like knitting, quilting, felting, and sewing. For much of history, textile art was not seen as real art because it was mainly made by women. The men who controlled the galleries and museums dismissed the highly complicated and beautiful textile artworks as crafts and women's work, and therefore were not true art. In the 1960s and 70s, as the civil rights movement was at its peak in the United States, women artists began to reclaim textile art in their artistic practice and they protested the idea that it didn't qualify as fine art. Artists Miriam Shapiro and Melissa Mayer coined the term femage, meaning feminist collage, to describe the textile art they were creating. They called it this because they said that collage, a form of art where you assemble different images or pieces to create one artwork, was directly inspired by quilting, sewing, embroidery, and other textile techniques. So, to Shapiro and Mayer, the idea that when men created collages with paper or paint, it was fine art, but when women created collages with fabric and thread, it wasn't, was a silly and biased thought against women. Sabrina Gershwantner is inspired by the ideas of the women artists of this time, and continues their tradition of bringing textile techniques into fine art. For today's activity, we'll be trying our hands at weaving using paper, inspired by Sabrina Gershwaner. We will create one weaving together, then you can be inspired by the tradition of textile art to create your own collage. Let's take a moment to think like an artist. What other forms of art do you think are underappreciated or dismissed as not being real art? Why do you think that is? Sabrina Gershwaner uses film strips for her weavings. What material other than paper or fabric do you think would make a cool woven artwork? In your art kit, you should have four thin paper strips. This is what we'll be weaving. If you don't have an art kit for the season on hand, cut half inch wide strips from the long side of four different colored pieces of paper. Then take two of your strips and glue them together at a right angle. Now, add a third strip going in the same direction as your left strip, but below it and on top of your right strip. Glue the fourth strip of paper in the same direction as the strip on the right, but under it, to the left of your strip, and weave it under the third. You should now have a square in the corner. You'll start the weaving by folding the right side, the red paper, over in front of the first side of the left, the blue paper. Then you'll take the right side, the green paper, and fold it behind all of the other strips of paper, making sure that it's aligned with the other blue one. Then you are going to weave the two pieces of paper together. You'll put the green one in front of the red 
This will help keep the braid and the weaving of our creation together. Then restart the process by putting the left side, the blue, in front of the green, then the yellow, the right side, behind all of the other strips of paper, and then weaving the two in the middle together. Press down on the paper after each weaving to keep its shape. Continue weaving until you've reached the end of your paper strips. When the ends of the strips remain short, glue it in place. Cut the remaining paper off at a bottom angle, leaving a clean edge. You can use your weaving however you like. You can turn it into a bracelet or even a bookmark. You can also create more weavings and assemble them to create a collage inspired by Gershwantner's textile art. Here's an example of what I did when I made three more weavings and used my leftover scrap paper. The possibilities are endless. Thanks so much for joining me today while we created a paper weaving inspired by artist Sabrina Gershwantner. Be sure to join me next time where we'll make a beaded bubble wand inspired by artist Manir Sharudi Farman Farmian. Have a great weekend and happy crafting! Thanks again for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with new videos. Get rewarded for your art. Submit a photo of your artwork to our contest for the chance to win a Sandflex gift card or to be featured on our social media. Scan the QR code or click the link in the description to learn more about the contest. Generous support for Studio Saturdays is provided by the Joe and Sarah Galloway Foundation. Thank you.